Good afternoon, beloved. Hope you're having a great day today. It is a chilly one out there. Hence, I've brought out my sweatshirt for the first time this year. Um, the uh, uh, sportscaster uh, for a long, long time at WRL in Raleigh. Uh, name is Tom Suter, and he used to say, getting ready for a Friday night and it would be cold out, he would say, it's boo chilly out there. Well, it's boo chilly out there. So, um, today I want to talk to you about flyovers. You know, there's a large segment of our uh, nation that people refer to as the flyover part of our nation. Kansas, Nebraska, Montana. It's not like folks have a great desire to go there, although I want to go to all those places. Um, it's that they just, we fly over them. We're going from New York or Boston or D.C. to uh, Seattle or San Francisco or Los Angeles. We're just flying over just sort of forgetting it. You know, I think we treat the Bible in the same way. There are whole flyover passages and segments of Scripture. Um, one of the great flyover instances in Scripture, I think, uh, is the, excuse me, is the Minor Prophets. Uh, we get to Daniel, and we uh, deal with the, the three Hebrew boys and the lion's den, and all those sorts of things, and then we get in the plane and we fly over till we get to Matthew. In part because the language is difficult to understand, in part because the place names are things that we don't know. We do not take the time to look at them, and yet some of the great passages of Scripture are in the flyovers. The righteous shall live by faith is in Habakkuk. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silent before him. Likewise in Habakkuk. Let justice uh, roll like waters and righteousness like a mighty stream. Amos. The pride of your heart has deceived you. Obadiah. He has shown you, human, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you but to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God? Micah. See, lots of stuff in there. Lots of stuff in there. And what do we do? We fly over them. Over the next three weeks here on Sunday morning, we're going to be doing a little mini flyover series. We're going to take three passages uh, from the lectionary. Micah this week, Amos the following week, and Zephaniah the last week. And we're going to look at them. Before that, though, I would encourage you to take some time and read up on what's going on in these passages. Do some investigation on your own. Learn these books. Because in these books, I think we find the clarion call to our understanding of Jesus' ministry. It will be in these books that you see the first tenets, and you could make the argument for a couple of the other prophets, but still, you can see the, the first tentacles of Jesus' is called to remember the oppressed, the forgotten, the unseen, and the unwanted. So, let's explore them together. This week, we'll start with the conscience of Israel, Micah. I hope to see you on Sunday. I hope you've read Micah before then. And as we prepare for Sunday, we remember to bring someone with us that we too might find in that moment grace. They may find it, we may find it. 
I look forward to seeing you then. Take care. God bless. And remember, grace abounds.